all of your cares and worries. Hey everyone, it's Mel. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to guide you through an energizing vinyasa flow right here in the jungle in Miami by this amazing pool behind me. I just feel so grateful to be able to share yoga to so many humans, millions and millions of people. So thanks for tuning in. So to start, you can just get on your mat or any comfortable place. You can even be at home on your bed. Just be comfortable. Let's close our eyes, placing one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. Begin to take a few deep breaths, coming to the present moment. setting an intention for this flow. Amazing. Blink your eyes open. Let's take our hands to the mat and then just make some big circles with your shoulders. Pulling your shoulders up to your ears and then back down your spine. Nice. Making some neck rolls. Noticing if you have any kinks or tightness. Maybe it's how you slept last night. Let's come on to our butt, taking your feet in front of you, hands behind you. Fingertips can be facing away. And we'll just shift the knees right and left. Warming up our hips, our hips flexors. Beautiful. Let's keep the knees on the right side. And then we will bring our hands behind the nape of your neck, twisting all the way over towards the right. Big inhale and exhale, fold over your knee. Coming back up, taking the hands behind the nape of your neck again as we switch sides, twisting over towards the left. Twist, 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 inhale and exhale folds. Nice. Coming back through center, taking the hands behind you, planting the feet on the ground. Let's lift the hips up, reverse tabletop, and drop your neck back. Let's just hold this tabletop, and if you want to add on, you can try to lift the knee, extend the leg, drop it down if you want. These are for my open hip people, or if you want to practice to get the hips a little bit op more open, right? And then let's cross this ankle, sit down, and hold this modified pigeon pose. Figure four. Beautiful. If you want to add on a little crunchy, you can crunch the legs in, extend the leg out, two more, crunch it in, extend, the last one, extend, nice. Plant the right, let's go ahead and lift again. This time, try to lift the opposite leg, bend the knee, extend, Make it extra if you want, if you did so on the other side. <laughs> Open and close and cross. Let's drop the hips. Sit nice and tall. You can keep your hands planted behind you, by the way, if that feels better. Or you can try to fold, take the arms through. <laughs> and if you guys want to add on again, 
add the little crunches, extend, then crunch for three, two, one. Awesome. Plant it down. Let's roll on to the side of the mat, right? We're going to lift up onto Navasana boat pose, lifting the legs up to the sky. If you can straighten your legs, awesome. If you can't, no worries. You can have them bent. Try to float your arms behind you or beside you or above. Act as if there's a string pulling from the center of your heart up to the sky. Holding for five, four, begin to lower down for three, two, low boat for one, and pull the knees in. Awesome. Let's just take the legs up to the sky, roll out your ankles. We're going to do scissor lifts, dropping one leg at a time, keeping your legs as straight as you can. Option to keep your hands on the ground, option to lift the arms up, and last option, arms behind the ears, and keep it going for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Woo, three, two, and one. Pulling the knees back in. Let's take the legs, rock it up and down a couple times the length of your mat. And we will cross the ankles at the top and shoot the feet back. For Chaturanga, Dandasana. Lower for the low push up. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Begin to pedal your heels, shift the hips left and right. Nice. Let's walk our hands to meet the feet. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Again, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Last time, inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Roll body one vertebrae at a time to standing. And lift your arms up to the sky. Hands to heart center, Samasiti He. And mountain pose. Closing your eyes, coming back to that intention if you set one in the beginning of this class. And let's just come back to it. All right, let's open up the feet super wide. Sitting down for Malasana squat, right? We can kind of shift side to side, opening up the knees with your elbows. And we're going to walk out to a high plank, hold for a breath, and walk it back, Malasana. We're going through about five or six times, walk it out. Focus on breathing, squeezing the core. Linking breath to movement. Last two. Last one. Nice. Walk it back out. High plank. Holding for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Hips to the sky, downward facing dog. All right, right away. Lots of ants over here. Right away, right leg lifts up to the sky. Amazing. Step the foot through, lower the back knee, Anjane Asana, swinging the arms up to the sky. Hands touch at the top. And plant the hands around the right foot. Let's step up to the top of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands. Step the left foot back. Inhale, up. Exhale, swing the arm behind you. Option to take the right hand to the back thigh. Reach this left arm up to the sky. Amazing. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, plant the hands. Step the foot back. Option to lift the leg behind you for a three-legged chaturanga. 
to downward facing dog. Okay, left leg lifts, step it through. Inhale, Anjane Asana. Exhale, plant the hands, step it forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step the right foot back. Inhale, up. Swing the left arm behind you. Reverse revolved. Back to Anjane. Plant the hands. Step it back, three-legged or not. Lower down slowly, moving through your vinyasa. All right. Let's walk back to the feet. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Sit real low. Chair pose. Nice. Bringing your hands to heart center. Let's take a prayer twist to the right side. <sighs> Making sure your knees are in line. Inhale through center. Exhale, chain sides. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. Walk your hands out. Plank pose. Let's just add a little bit. We're gonna open the left foot out, right foot out, left foot in, right foot in. Switch sides, so right foot out, left, right, left. Left, right, right, going back and forth. Remember, we're energizing our bodies, our minds. Woo! Dropping down to a forearm. Keep it going for five, four, three, two, and one. Coming down to a child's pose. Reaching your arms forward. Third eye down to the mat. Make your way to your back, pulling your knees into your chest, taking a few circles to roll out your spine. We're going to take a couple back bends. Plant your heels when you are ready. Go ahead and lift your hips up to the sky, squeezing the glutes, moving with your breath. Lift your hips up and down, also moving your arms up and down with it. After five, you will clasp the hands behind your back and hold for about 10 breaths. Option to lift the leg and lift the other leg. Make your way to the earth. Nice windshield wiper your knees side to side. Decompressing your spine. Preparing your back for one more back bend, but this time we're just going to hold at the top. And I will encourage you to try to grab your ankles this time and really get your shoulder blades under and open up your heart. Hold at the top for 10 breaths. Drop the knees after you come down right away to the left side, gazes to the right for spinal twist. Switching sides, dropping the knees over to the right, gazes to the left. Bringing your breath back to a normal breath, not trying too hard anymore, letting gravity do its final work on your body. Extend your legs up to the sky, roll out your ankles and your feet, kind of like when we started. If you can, try to point the toes or flex the heels and grab both legs, lifting your heart up to your legs or pulling your legs down to your face. This is a nice big forward fold. And you can drop one of your legs long, taking a hamstring stretch, 
when we started, we kind of went right into core, so we didn't really get to hold this stretch very long. So trying to pull the foot closer to your face, option to lift your shoulders up. And another option is to bend the left knee to your left armpit, half happy baby. Extending the leg back long one more time and then switch sides. Again, pulling the leg as close as you can to your face, pointing and flexing your feet, going back and forth to feel the differences. Bending through that knee, half happy baby, big hip stretch. And one more time, extend the leg long and pull it even closer to your face than before. Gently release, pulling both of your shins into your heart, giving yourself one last big hug. Squeeze into a tight little ball, inhale, exhale, release everything into Shavasana, our last resting pose. Just decompress and rest. I will see you on the other side. Begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes, extending your arms and legs long like you're waking up in the morning, bringing life back into your body. Rolling on to your right side, fetal pose, just reconnecting with your breath. Slowly make your way to a comfortable seated meditation. And I want you to sit and notice what differences you feel in your body after 20 minutes of yoga. Try not to wipe your sweat or fidget, just sit still. Bring your hands to your heart center, bow your chin in gratitude for this practice. Namaste, everyone. Thank you so much for practicing with me, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.